Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am back today with Mr. MMG. Hello. For another faint, fun paint pour project. We're gonna each do a light switch cover um, using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. These are awesome. You don't need to do anything to them. You just buy it at the store and ready to go. Don't need to mix anything. So they're pretty fun. And we're gonna each choose our own colors. Now these are obviously small, right. so we don't need a lot of paint. However, I did also put a 14 by 14 canvas under here um, that will do a painting, a joint painting with our runoff paint. Our paints will meet and they will go together. It's an acrylic pouring <laughs> joint. So um, go ahead and fill up your whole bowl because that will be enough to cover this canvas. Great. And he's got the white. You don't need to shake it. Please don't shake it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I learned something every day with her. There you go. All right. Gonna use white too. Getting in on this orange here. Yeah. Or, uh, orange is like the best. Yeah, I'm loving orange lately. I'm gonna use some gold and turquoise. I made this turquoise. Is he gonna do purple? Of course he is. Of course he is. I think I will not do purple. As you are. Um, we'll try to have different color schemes. I'm gonna throw a smidge of black in here. This sounds like a plan. Hopefully there's enough in here. I did just buy a new one, but I haven't opened it yet. And a dash of turquoise. Okay, time to open the new one. <laughs> okay. But I did just want a smidge, so there we go. I got a smidge. You got your wish. Yeah. Get some more gold. Yeah. Hey -o. Hey -o. One for some more purple. And I'm sorry, okay. you said fill up the whole dish? Yeah. Yeah, you have a ways to go. I do. <laughs> Man, you're going like all gangbusters over there. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll go ahead and speed this part up. Bring in the orange in. And a little more white to thin it out. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring mine. Do it. Oh. <laughs> well, I started. Yeah, you did. This is good, yeah? Yeah, sure. These are interesting to pour with. There's no real form to them. Yeah. All right, here we go with this. <laughs> We're just going to see what happens here. All right, so here's my cover. How do we feel about this? I dig it, actually, yeah. a lot. Okay, I'm going to move this aside to the... I have a silicone mat under here. We'll let you finish yours and then we'll do the canvas. Ooh. This is interesting. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and tilt a little bit. I don't know about much though. I'm really kind of like. Yeah, you don't my... have to tilt it much. I kind of did want to leave too much paint on there. to be wise we should move them over here because <laughs> well, otherwise guaranteed when I, I tilt the canvas oh yeah that's a good point so let's move this aside it's like ribbon candy and let's see definitely gonna have some interesting patterns here it's like one of those magic eye patterns do you <laughs> see right? the, do you see the schooner yeah well I see the sailboat let's see who gets that joke <laughs> yeah. If you do, you're the cool kid. Yeah. At the party. <laughs> so normally I would have moved those bottles in the back out of the way also. Yeah, for this purpose, they're way too easy to do. Huh. Interesting. I dig that spot of gold and black in there. 
Mm-hmm. What do we think? You know, I'm actually feeling it. Um, <laughs> it's interesting, because I could totally see this going in a room with those two fixture covers. I mean, yeah, it, it worked. Yeah. It seems like... number one. Don't put your gloves over the painting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Obviously, I'm a noob at this. <laughs> Okay, good. So let's let it sit here for a little bit. I don't think anything else is necessarily going to develop, but then we'll bring it in for a close-up. Yeah. All right. So, as usual, not much tends to change with this paint. Um, it doesn't really develop into cells much. We're going to go ahead and bring you in for the close-up. All right. Lower right-hand corner. Coming up to the upper right-hand corner. Definitely some interesting patterns in this one. It kind of reminds me of abalone. And then this part over here is definitely my favorite. I love the lines. I think I'm with you on that one. Yeah, and I like how they meet there. I do like this little killer whale head popping up over here, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then lower left-hand corner. And then back to overall. So I think what we'll do to round out this video is we'll bring you back tomorrow. Um, once the covers are dry, we'll go ahead and we'll put them back on and everything and show you how they look in the home. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you then. All right, guys, here's our canvas all dry. We'll do a quick close up here. You can see this paint dries really glossy. Um, so and it doesn't change much as it dries. That's one of the really cool things about this paint is it's really predictable. Uh, you're not going to get a bunch of surprises. But to me, this looks like um, a stingray swimming. And this is like an island. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go inside and see how those light covers look. So here's how my light switch came out. And this is the lighting in this room is a little bit not optimal. But um, you can definitely see there's a lot of cool swirling action in there. Uh, really dig the colors and the combination. I don't usually go this nuts on like the amount of colors, but I really like how it turned out. A lot of fun. All right, here's how mine came out. We do have yellow light in here, so it looks a little more green, but it's really pretty. Blue, I love it. Um, so I will be sealing these with the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. Very simple. And I do want to mention that I have a fluid art class coming up in Texas in April. So if you're interested, please check that out in the description. It's going to be super awesome. And I will see you guys all later.